Hi, welcome to episode 16 of the Playtron. And this time we're gonna start off here at Ruined Labyrinth. In the base. So, yeah, last time <laughs> it took me an embarrassingly long time to find that one guard. But, with that out of the way, there's actually a whole bunch more that I wanna go get. But not just yet. Before that, I'm gonna take care of a few things. I hope those snipers aren't around here. But it's gonna make this a whole lot worse. Give me your bones. Thank you. Oh, God, there's a room there. Don't mind me, just passing the room. I am not your happy meal. Lots of jellyfishes around here. I don't suppose I could go up that jumpy alert. You can actually farm that that uh, mausoleum knight for her armor, or his. These are here for one thing. That is to complete Rajir's quest. By complete, I mean. Just get to the next part of it, I suppose. Is this a skeleton? If this is a skeleton dungeon, I am changing something. Oh, I already did that. Okay, that's good. Bring out... The morning stuff. Okay, these dudes are tanky. Using the morning star might not be such a good idea. Oh, and I could go level this thing up. Should have more than about. So a few levels. Not sure what's in there. Didn't do the job. I thought I still had to kill the skeletons after killing that thing. Okay. 
that guy tried to block. Hidden one. Right, I think that these something I Sure, why not? Oh wait, I should change. This should be good enough. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't know they could get that. Bully the assassin. I'm not gonna head out yet. There's an actual... What I mean to say is... That wasn't the boss of this dungeon. That was actually a secondary boss hidden away in this dungeon. Which is kinda cool, honestly. It probably sings and can. It's always awesome to see them fly away. <laughs> oh, it's this place. Yeah, I kind of remember this. You can spawn. No. There should be a big crab spawning around here. Okay, here's one. I think there are two of them. No, it involved. Oh. Yeah, okay, I see the other one. Wow. Okay, that packs quite a punch. That's the way I came from. There should be a way... You know what? I think it's that one. Hold up. Can we see if I can... I'm not sure, but maybe there's a hidden entrance around here. That puts me in that room. Oh yeah, here we go. It's this place, isn't it? Sweet. Well, hey there.
Right, miss. Hopefully I don't get skewered by these things. You have no idea how easily I get hit by those for some reason. And if you get hit by them, you pretty much die. Well, I wouldn't bother resting, I should be able to do this no problem. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Oh, no. Whoa, that was way too close. That would have been really bad. And of course, he dies in one hit. Awesome. How much damage do I have? Jeez. Those things are super squishy, huh? Well, that's fine by me. Now well, I can head on back. Back to the round dribble. 12 minutes for that one, uh, Catacomb. Yeah, where is he? Oh, this one, I think. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Oh. Yeah, that's it. You know, since I'm with here, I might as well go talk to Fia as well. Oh, I'm gonna get that blessing again. I am pleased to see what you like now. The hug's nice and all, but I wish I didn't get the blessing every single time. You are so. There goes my count. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him. Despite his grievous wounds, you truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you, 
and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. Then good day to Um, when you get that dagger, you can give it to Dean, but I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. Bro, that's quite a few runes I have stored up. I mean, let's see, I'm going to grab a lever and then I'm going to go out to do what I wanted to. But you know what, you know, that's why I went to the inventory. Where is that? Next stop is here. And then after that, down there. Might be safer to go a different route, but I think this kids are in fast step. So I'll just do that. Nicely done. Torn can be really finicky over there. Gonna do what's her name? Hayata. Gonna do Hayata's quest right now. And in the process, grab me a nice talisman. Out. Oh, thanks for that. Now I don't need to watch me about... What? How did that happen? Okay, that's weird. How did I hit the dog that was behind me and not the guy in front of me? So weird. Oh, there's some loot. Two fingers heirloom and subjuvi grip. The heirloom's nice for those that aren't using a faith belt. Because how much does it give actually? Five. Okay, it gives five uh, points to fit. So if you need that little bit of faith and you're not using a faith belt, then it's awesome. You don't have to invest any points into faith. Especially if you want to use that, uh, the one cleansing. Oh yeah, flame cleanse me, I believe it's called. I really hope that thing doesn't sort it. So yeah, if you want to use that incantation, then you can, uh, Use the talisman, 
do whatever you want with the incantation and then just take it off, you know. Nice and easy. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. With that done, time to move on to the next location. I think this takes you over to the Raya Lucario Academy kid. Well, either that or eating. There's a night rider on this road as well. I'm gonna do that eventually. Cause dark now. Oh wow, okay that I almost fell down. It's there. This is going to be a bit of a walk. Why am I so bad at hitting stuff while I'm turned? Okay, that time that guy dodged. That's why my puffed. Ah, uh, here we go. You know, let's try this one. Remember Edgar? Well, he is now invading us. And it. So yeah, you could have just killed him there to get the grape and help it. But then uh, you don't get all these juicy raw meat dumplings. So it's really up to you. If you want to kill him back there, you can get a few extra hits in before he can do anything. In fact, I think he, you can just outright kill her. But I'd rather just do it the proper way. Anyways. Now I need to go back to that place to kill. I ate other grin. This is gonna be a fun conversation. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? 
them on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. <clears throat> no. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own... So those noises I heard were... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. <laughs> I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I apologize. I'll be fine. Yep, the human eyes. Tender and sweet, huh? Yikes. I think it's around there. Not sure. I'll say going back from sewer. This works. Let's hit this ring. But yeah, definitely this one. you well what do you make of it what's happened to this village i witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy the oppression of the weak murder and pillage unchecked a waking nightmare made by men but this time i'm a woman grown and though the suffering cannot be undone i can still mete out justice justice to the oppressors let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time, and though the justice to let the scar. Oh, that's a lava tier. That's nice. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but that's what you need to respect. Which we'll unlock soon. We haven't unlocked it just yet. There's a depraved bathroom over there. I'm pretty sure you can sneak up behind them. Yep. Oh wow. That almost killed him. And who's there?
please, no. Dear me. <coughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then. You're not one of them? Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Kursmonger's hands. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. <laughs> now then, time to get Nefeli's quest part done. Well, I guess you could say we've already done that. Where is that sign? Oh, right here. You know, those things look like frogs to me. For grasshoppers? Yeah, grasshoppers. It's so weird. You know, that's... <laughs> That, that's really weird. Didn't she want to protect those Albanorids? And now she's hunting them? Oh well. I did not intend for that, but hey. You do you. Ow. And that's the boss down. Well, oh, wait, was it already active? I wonder if there's anything else? Hey, a Lunark. Thought there was something more, but I guess not. We are going to be invaded. Are we... Or maybe we're too strong? Wait, when did I die? Oh uh, no, never mind. I thought my region was inactive, so I died somewhere. I kind of forgot that uh, in multiplayer, I guess.
you don't have it unless you're the host of co-op. I'll maybe the host of being invaded as well. I'm not sure about that, but... But, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this way. Since Encha's dead now, we get his armor, sir. I'm gonna go talk to Mephelly this time. Um, actually, she's on the other side, isn't she? Why do I have to run around so much just to talk to some people? Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic. Kidding. Now I can go talk to Gideon. Uh, you. What is it? Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Encher got rather ahead of himself, it seems, as his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave. She knows... Ah. You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn. Quite frankly, I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Wait, I think I can go talk to Nafeli again. Great, more running. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. So you know already, do you? Why, it's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, rather, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No. No, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. No. How could I say Father has... And now... Do I have time to go to back? The king of Gideon was talking about... You know what? It's fine. If it takes me a while, that's okay. I'll go try and do that. So 
should be this way. Wow. That actually scared me in front of it. And I am loving Moonville even more. It started out uh, kind of rough at first. Wasn't used to the whole anti thing. But now, it's even so good. Screwed, honestly. Anyways, time to go further down into the cave. I don't think I missed anything here. Careful. Out. Is that secret ball? No. Or that looks so cool. Yeah? Ah, fake. In fake. No. If they're not secret balls, then they're not fake, are they? Real ones? Not fake worlds. That was quite satisfying, honestly. I think I can just trap down. Yeah. And that's the bathroom. Wow, oh, this cave's kind of sharp. Okay, that last one. Hit me.
Well, that was a pretty cool fight, honestly. Anyways, now that we're done with the king, here's that lady Gideon was talking about. Before I talk to her, I think there's... Nothing? I guess this wasn't the place. Must have been something else. I thought there was something there. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept... I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo, my faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. And we kept ourselves in awesome new summon. In fact, I might actually use her from time to time. She's great at the uh, long range spell map. She'll just stand in one place and constantly fire arrows like a sniper. Anyways, you know the way these blood stains are placed are kind of cool. It's almost like people purposely did that. Kind of looks like the wolf's blood. It is a bit sad, but hey. The way of life, huh? Uh, that's gonna do it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!